Howdy, Yorkie. Uh. That's what I'm talking on. Get. Can I? Okay. So those are the red shadows. Hi. I'm playing the game. Um, I want. I went to sleep to kill the remaining 14 hours. And then I was planning to start the episode at location. But no. Let's have red shadows just start appearing during cutscenes. Why not? Hope I didn't take damage. I took damage. Of course I would. A tutorial. From midnight to 6 a.m. The town descends into the other world. Red shadows will appear during this time. But only outside areas will be affected. Okay. Also, I stink now. So I have a bunch of flies. Oh. Mr. Alligator. What? I'm not sure how much help you'll be in this situation, but I guess you're better than nothing. Oh. Uh, okay. Zach, I don't even need to say it, do I? No, you don't. This is right out of that movie. I'm pretty sure. Video drum, 1982, directed by David Cronenberg. Stop! Make me look up graphics. It was seen as a hard movie to digest for normal moviegoers, but now it's become a cult classic. What the? I fuck always is... just saw it as another weird Canadian movie, but this changes everything. My arm and my gun have become one. Uh, now I can really understand what Max was going through. Are the shadows just ignoring you? Hold down fire button to charge the psycho gun. <laughs> Aim it toward an enemy to lock on. Then release the fire button to fire a homing bullet. The faster firing speed, the faster your gun will lock on. Lock on the multiple points at once is also possible. Okay. Did you just say snarf? I'm pretty sure you said snarf. Yep, he's saying snarf. Eh. Eh. Do they just constantly spawn? That sucks. Why am I back to my normal gun? Seriously, why am I back to my normal gun? What happened to Psycho Gun? Ow! Oh, I thought you were dead. I'm paralyzed now. Or I have cramps. One of the two. Okay. Seriously, why am I not using the psycho gun anymore? What happened? God, paralysis sucks. Owie. Why am I crouching? Um, okay. Am I not picking things up? It's not telling me why I'm picking up. Why is this game so broken? What the hell is happening? Ah! Why weren't you on my map? Okay, paralysis heals naturally over time. That's cool. I can't help but notice that my focus ability isn't there. Come on, just nine more minutes. I This is weird. If for no other reason than the fact that I'm not actually using my gun anymore.
Okay. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Got it now. That's why my focus was going away. Because that's my psycho gun. They didn't really say that. But that's what it was. Got it. Also, if you notice the purple fart gas on them, it's because I'm shooting venom bullets. Not sure how effective they work. But I don't think I can poison these guys anyways. Stop that! And what are you guys dropping? Snip, snip, snip. Snarf! There it is. Dawn. Dawn of a new day. That was annoying. See, it's not telling me what I'm picking up. As far as I know, these aren't items. Like, normally there's some indication that says, oh, you picked up an item. But, no, don't get anything. Okay. Well, now that I'm all nice and stinky, let's investigate the crime scene. Lisa clocks in discovery site. Okay. This is how it has to be. Okay. Why did the perpetrator decide to enshrine Lisa's body here? Eh, they're crazy. I like that idea. Yeah, they're crazy. Definitely crazy. Is is now really the time to be skipping rocks? Hmm. Remember this, Zach? Stone skipping. We did it all the time when we were kids. No, you didn't! In the first game, you literally said you've never met Zack. For some reason, I Stop be lying! Good, but I feel like I've got what it takes to win now. What do you say? Shall we take a trip down memory lane? Are you kidding me? You're going to make me do a rock skipping mini game? At the crime scene. You know what? I'm game. Let's go for it. It's, it's about what you expect from this game. In order to start stone skipping, you'll need to select a stone. Each stone has its own unique properties. After tossing a stone, press A at the right time to increase the distance it flies. Each stone skipping point has its own, its own unique course, so give them all a try. Okay. Okay. I found a lollipop. Not bad, Zach. I like how the flies are still in the, you know, cutscenes. That was just as fun as when we were kids. Was it, though? Hey, what's that? You've done, you haven't investigated the crime scene at all. No wonder the word Mississippi means father of waters. It has the power to carry boats down the tiniest of tributaries. I mean, most rivers do. It's one of the prime symbols of America's majesty. And the vitality of the human race. Is it? Is it really? Now about that boat. What sort of cargo would give it such a deep draft? What else do you see, Zach? I saw it clearly, if only for a second. 
the Dragonfly Crest. Yeah, totally. This town never wants to stop reminding us about the Clarksons. Okay, stone skipping has been unlocked. Uh, can I... See, now, it's weird, because I came here before, and I wasn't... That didn't happen. So I... Hey, Zach. Whatever. Do you remember the oracle? Yeah, look north. When the sun awakens, catch the tip of the baby bear's tail at the false altar. Your your accent's terrible. The entrance to the and very racist. Will reveal itself to you. In other words, we need to go to where Lise was found and look north at dawn. Well, okay, that's where I see that creepy skull right there. I wonder what we'll see. I see a creepy skull. Singularity inspection start. Graffiti. An ominous work of art, but trying too hard, which means it has nothing to do with the case. Common graffiti most likely drawn the cannon's spray paint. It's also faded and hard to read. This was surely drawn before Lisa mur murdered. Design and art style are simply too outdated. It's the Terminator reference or Frankenstein, one of the two. Another powerful reminder of just how isolated this community is from the rest of modern civilization. Someone had enough passion inside them to draw this out here in the middle of nowhere. Now that's impressive. Spanish moss. There's a vine-like plant dangling from the bridge beam. It's probably Spanish moss, common around these parts. But someone clearly hung this moss here on purpose. It's hard to try and understand the mind of someone who would want to enshrine a dead girl's body. Bottle. A bottle from a river. As a child, I used to love finding these. I always hoped one would contain a message from a faraway land that would change my boring life forever. Sadly, this bottle is all too real. It's filled with nothing but dirty water. Yeah, it's the only problem with that whole message in a bottle thing. Most bottles aren't watertight like that. Like, seriously, putting a cork in a glass bottle doesn't make it watertight. So any message you put in there would likely, you know, deteriorate real easily. Paper. I thought it was an old document, but it's actually an old movie flyer. So you should love it. It's so worn out that it's hard to see, but I think it depicts a bicycle flying in front of a big moon. I wonder what movie that could be. The title says E.T. Have you ever heard of such a film, Zach? Really? It's such a bizarre image, and it almost looks like there's something in the bicycle path. You've never seen E.T.? What the fuck is wrong with you, York? Looks like someone used these stones to create a mini Stonehenge. Stonehenge next to an altar. Their love for cliché symbology is truly horrifying. But this isn't England, nor is it a historical significant location. Which means this symbol has nothing to do with Lise's case. Unfortunately, it's nothing but a childish prank. An old tire and a solitary glove. Kind of looks like a surrealist painting, doesn't it? Whenever I see an old tire, I'm possessed by the urge to jump inside and roll down a hill with it. Why? Must be the influence of some cartoon we saw when we were kids. Now? Come on, Zach. I couldn't possibly try that here. We have more important things to do right now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe let's check out the skull. It's a skull, Zach. As clear as day. That's the spot. The barrier between our world and the other world. I'm pretty sure that barrier is broken between midnight at six. One might call it a singularity. Um, no. Okay. Now, what do you say we go inspect that cabin? Sure. Why did you leave me behind? You're not supposed to investigate without me. Because I smell bad and it's six in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry, Patty. You just missed a special moment. Of me skipping stones. What moment? The sugarcane plantation? So what? Do you not see the skull there? 
You can't see it? All I see is the Clarkson's plantation and that gross silo. Okay, your view might be, um, high on something. There you have it, Zack. Patty, Zack and I will take it from here. In the meantime, you need to head home and wait for us. Why? Wait at home? Alone? Yes, no, with your mother. While. Once I make some progress, I'll contact you again. Hey, hold on! You got flies all around you. I can't hear a word you're saying. So, would you mind telling Melvin that I'm heading to the sugarcane plantation? I'm sure we'll need his help later. York, you have a radio. Whoa, Agent York! Wait! You're really gonna leave a little girl like me here all alone? You got here fine by yourself. Act like an adult for once in your life. Fuck you! I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. That's the reason I'm telling you not to go to this place. You promised. Protect me. You'll be fine. <laughs> you made it this far alone, didn't you? Seriously. <laughs> okay. Head to the Singularity. Is that, a, is that a UFO right there? Ah, squirrel! Did the UFO have a squirrel on it? Whatever. Ugh, get me out of here, jeez. Yes, do not tell me what those items are. Oh well. I think the game's just broken. Because even when I pick up items from the UFOs, it's not telling me what they are. Nor is it giving me that $20 bonus for shooting them. I may have just broken the game. Fox and Sugar Cane Plantation. Oh boy, cowboy boots. You know what that means. Look, Zack. We're about to encounter a new character. Thanks, York. Oh, damn it. I know I saw her go inside. But it's empty. The hell's going on here? Magic. You won't be able to find the other world. What York! Who the <laughs> hell are you? What are you doing on our plantation? I'd like to ask you the same. Um, well, I'm... why'd you cut off? Hey, shut up. What? This ain't got nothing to do with you. Did I actually break this game? I see. Well, if you don't want to tell me, then I have no choice but to guess. You just said this is our plantation. I assume that means you're a member of the Clarkson family. Very here good. Here looking for someone. If there's a search being conducted on Clarkson property, it must be a search for Galena Clarkson, who's gone missing. Very so from good, the way you Clark. Speak, your age, and most of all, the color of your eyes, which you are red. Danny Clarkson. The father of the victim, Galena's husband, and the manager of the cold storage warehouse. Nice to meet you. I'm FBI, FBI Special, Special Agent Francis Agents. York Morgan. I'm you here call me York. The Lease Clarkson case. Oh, and just call me York. There you go. That's what everyone's always called me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think I give a shit? You better watch your mouth, or I'm liable to whoop your goddamn ass. You just threaten a federal agent? Hmm. Your daughter was taken from you, and now your wife has gone missing. No words can describe what you're going through. I imagine you're doing everything you can, searching every last nook and cranny all over town. But, Danny, listen to me. It won't get you anywhere. Because there's no magic you stuff search, happening. You'll never find them. That sounds like a threat, York. The fuck is with you? Seriously. <laughs> you want to throw down with a Clarkson? The fuck Absolutely is with not. you? I simply wish to solve this case. Okay. Then hurry up and investigate, goddammit. Well, oh, I'm... Am. That's why I'm trying to. The Oracle told me there's something in this spot. Oracle? That's right. <laughs> Zach and I are following oracles given to us by a skeletal gentleman. If you wish to find the person who killed your daughter, you should cooperate. I imagine that not even the Clarksons want to start a feud with a federal power. I've had enough of your bullshit. I got I cowboy boots. Pissing in my ear today, huh? Shit. Does this mean you're ready to cooperate? 
May I enter the building? Do whatever you want. Okay, thanks. That's you think all I need to say. With the Clarks, you got another thing coming. Ah, that's assault. Zach, it appears that the Clarksons have no idea where Galena is either. No, From they have an idea. The family must be in the midst of their own complications. He said she they saw her go in here. Than we think. York, stop smoking up the crime scene. Zach, Danny married into this family, didn't he? Yet he's acting like he's a full-blooded Clarkson. I'm surprised, well, really. it is a South. That was the most unexpected aspect of our encounter. Really? After all, he's only the son-in-law. What do you think, Zach? I think it's a good thing you waited to talk to Zach until... He was gone. And is that him right there? Yeah, I'm not seeing any items I'm picking up. That's so weird. However, if I get to a save spot, I will save and reopen the game. Maybe that'll fix it. Why am I suddenly getting all these sharpshooter bonuses? What? Okay, so that's all the things I missed. So I, it's probably fixed now. Oh wow, these small first aid kits heal a lot. Nice. So I think it's fixed, but just in case... I'm going to reload the game. Okay, so I reload the game. Uh, hmm. There's no sink in your bathroom. Hmm. I was hoping there'd be some item I can pick up, just so I can test, but I guess not, so let's check out this totally magic area. A deadly premonition. Ah! They said the thing! You know, for some reason I'm getting butterflies. No, those are the flies, because you smell so bad. How about you? It's time we went and saw this other world for ourselves. We already saw it! Cool. Again, doesn't need to be a separate quest. I mean, it also explains why York doesn't find any of the things that happened in the first game weird. Like the countryside is always so entertaining. It has far more stimuli to offer than the big city. Because he just gets... He's used to dealing with this stuff. Okay, so I do have magic arms. Those movies from the 80s were all predicting the future. Life's simpler than what philosophers make it out to be. In the end, truth and reality are never one in the same. Now we have nothing to fear. Right, Zack? Let's march straight into this otherworldly abyss. York, shut up. Snarf! Seriously, why are all these guys from... 
Okay, I got it. Uh, cappuccino fragment, high quality. Just punched the box. I just got. I punched the box and got coffee. Uh, okay. Punch the box. Why are they giving me so much coffee? Well, actually, does coffee? It might do something useful. Uh, restores concentration. Okay. Got it. Oh. It says there's an anime. Where? Oh. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay. And they just like giving me coffee. Where? Where's the enemy? Where is he? Where is he? Ow. Why do you respawn so fast? Ooh, medium first aid kit. That's actually useful. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how long I charge it up, it still only takes up one focus. Good to know. Good to know. Come on. What? Why? What's the point of this? Like, seriously, was there a point to that? Give me some coffee. I need coffee! Thank you. <laughs> Should reload my gun, too. What's the point of this? Snarf! That's going to make me laugh every time. Ooh, I got a box of rubber bullets. Nice. These areas give me a lot of items. Snarr! Every time. It's always funny. Let's see. That looks like the obvious way to go. So let's go a different way. Man, 
man, you're giving me a lot of extra ammo. I'm starting to regret having bought all those extra bullets. Aha! Punch! Okay. Clear it out. Boss fight? Maybe? Uh huh. Hmm. Zach, I sense something here. Those are the flies. Stop smoking. Okay. Lise was murdered here. Do you have evidence to back that up, or just your spectral vision? Let's take a closer look and find out exactly what went on. Okay, York. You do that. Uh, well, let's save. Hello, FBI. Yeah, I'm in some weird alternate dimension. Okay, so, uh, magic vision. Any items? It says there are items over there. Well, I can't go through the door, so I guess not. Zach, there's a tall woman here. But there's not, because this isn't real. Very stylish. She'd stick out like a sore thumb in this town. Is she watching the murder? No. She's clearly more than an innocent spectator. She must be deeply entwined with this case somehow. Okay. More. More. I want more. Okay, sweetie. Uh... I do like the font they're using. It's pretty cool. Yes, I'll give you exactly what you want. Something real special. You'll be able to fly much higher now. Okay, can you talk a bit faster? Because I don't want to interrupt. God damn it. So happy. Yeah. I'm your mom. <sighs> I know exactly what you want. All done? Okay. Red powder. Yeah. This must be Saint Rouge. Yeah. But for some reason, it looks more vibrant than all the specimens we've gathered so far. You're Looking at a vision, things may not reflect reality. Wow, it's amazing. I can feel it. I'm getting prettier. Yeah, you are. You see, I made this just for you. My body's getting hot. Okay. So hot. I'm burning up. I'll break this 
sensations take over, Lise. Soon you won't feel any pain. You won't feel anything at all. Okay, so... Lise got super drugged up, and then her mom chopped her up with an axe? murder weapon was an axe. Yes. Lise must have been dismembered while she was still alive. I... Why do you... Okay. And the woman holding the axe. Flashy clothes, beautiful face, and that dragonfly ring. This must be Lisa's mother, Galena Clarkson. Sure. Are you going to be able to prove any of this? Look, Zach. She's crying. Is she? It's the polar opposite of Lisa's euphoric expression. Yeah, because Lisa and Lisa, Lisa, how do you pronounce her damn name, is on drugs! Galena is brandishing an axe while tears stream down her face. What was going on in her head? Surprise, sad because she had to kill her child. Okay, let's get started. Oh, that cuts it off? My bad. I want to dramatically point a gun at your head. But instead, now I don't get to hear what you said. My bae. Zach, Lisa's limbs were severed while she was still alive. Very creepy. But she's smiling. She must not have been able to feel any pain. Yeah, that's what the red seeds do. They're sort of a... Uh... Numb you to pain. Sun Rouge isn't that powerful of a drug. At least it shouldn't be. <laughs> That's where you're wrong there, Yor. And look, Zack. Another dragonfly. Oh, duh. She's part of the family. Family. The tattoo family. is just to the side of her navel. Okay. She always carried the mark of a Clarkson with her, wherever she went. You're so beautiful. Okay. Really? Yay! Yay! I'm a little dolly. I'm a little dolly. She a bit crazy. At least, it'll all start from you. Ah, there's a perfect line to indicate it's a ritual. Now you'll never die. You'll be eternal. I mean, the Red Seeds do have that ability. Just wait for me, Lise. I'll be with you soon. I'll always be with you. Always. <laughs> Ooh. Profiling bonus, 20 bucks. Who paid me? Lise Clarkson was murdered here. Again, what's the actual evidence for that? After she died. She was carried to the spot underneath that bridge. Okay. Why did the killer feel the need to move her? Bodies are usually only moved to cover up evidence. I don't know, maybe you should watch the rest of the vision. Maybe that will tell you. But this is different. Lisa's body was enshrined. She was being shown off to someone. Or something. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. The ritual. The altar. A mother killing her child. A monstrous giant. And a mysterious, stylish woman. There's a real demon out there. Really? And it's got its sights set on the Clarksons. <laughs> but, Zach, this is exactly the kind of case we FBI agents are here to solve. Really? Is it? Isn't that right? No! York, you're, you're actually insane. 
There's no proof here. There's a lot of items. Well, let's go go here. Something happened, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows anything about this game, man? It's, it's weird. I really like it, though. Who am I kidding? As much as I am shitting on it constantly, I am really enjoying it. It's, it's so weird. It's so stupid. I love everything about it. Snip, 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 snip. Snar. See, that was cool. Because the barrel was there, it's like, oh yeah. Obviously what you should do is shoot it and kill both of them in one shot. And that's how they teach you about the mechanic. See, it's cool. That's good game design. So they know how to do good game design, they just choose not to. What's in here? Oops. Um. Do 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 do. Coffee. No, get out here. Get out here. Move, there you go. Items. Jeez, they're giving me a lot of bullets. Good thing I cleared out what saw my inventory first. Did I critical hit the barrel, and that somehow did more damage? Sure, that makes sense. Come on, get me through. There you go. And this looks like the direction I'm supposed to go. Mainly because that was their blocking us. Well, this is where I'm supposed to go. Let's, uh, not go this way. Let's go this way first. Ah! Enemy! Take that! Man, 
man. Ah! Get, stop that! Why are there suddenly so many of them? Like the moment I run out. Get out of here, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Why are there only so many of you? Because whatever was back here was definitely not worth it. Whatever, let's go, let's go, let's go. here. Punch! That's close. I still love the fact that I could just punch a box. I wanna cut up snip snip snip. Yeah. Man. They don't all drop things, though. Oh well. There's the exit! Punch! Punch! This seems like a boss fountain. Oh, this is definitely a boss fountain! Jesus Christ! Okay, replenish my items, change the round what things I had equipped. Interesting. So for some reason when I have the Venom rounds equipped I have more ammo in my magazine. Not sure how that works. But okay. This seems like a boss fight. Which was not expecting. Even though I've been saying it this entire time. Okay. Okay. I'll be honest, combat in this game is slightly better than the first one. Which isn't hard, because the first one sucked balls in combat. Uh... I just love his hand. I did it. I really did it. Okay. I finally completed the first ritual. Now the plan will begin. The red one plan will begin. Your Zach, this case is going to be a labyrinth. 
I certainly didn't really? expect to run into a monster like this. Really? You didn't? One for violence. What the f just are you talking about? about? What do you think? Should we read off her rights? Now, it's the red one's turn. Who's the red one? Soon. And in the end, we'll be together. 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 <laughs> Bizarre utterances. I was not expecting to see this weird fetus monster baby thing. Not what I was expecting when I woke up today. I killed her so pure, adorable, and getting dizzy. Look away from the screen. Oh god, it's getting faster. Oh god, oh god, that's actually making water roll. Oh. That ah, boss fight. Do I get a bonus for killing five people at a time, maybe? No? Oh, they're, they technically aren't dying at... Got it. Ow! All those... Roots are apparently electrified. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh. Come on. I'll be honest, this boss fight sort of blows. Ow! Ow, stop that, stop that! Stop whispering in my ears! Give me coffee! Okay, I broke it again. I don't know what I'm picking up. God, this game's awesome. Even if I can't see it, I'll still pick it up. So I assume it still gets added to my inventory. It's like, uh, was that enough? Guess so. Now, York, what are you? Have you actually been doing? Me off. I'm invincible now. Holy red seas protect me. Partially true. I, what are you? No, it can't be. Came here to stop our plan. FBI special agent Francis York. York Francis York Morgan. Everyone calls me York. Oh god, not the spinning again. No! Oh, the red one gave me the honor of lighting the flame. I'm not gonna <laughs> Seriously, ow. Oh god.
Suffer, bro. Hi. <laughs> E.T. Selena, is this your true form? No. Hollywood would have been all over you. Although you probably would have been typecast as a gross monster. Bah! The kind that heroes always kill. We're going to make a new world. And no one's going to stop us. See, in the first game, all the weird magic shit that happened was just hallucinations. Uh, ah, nope, not that fun. I need to drink some coffee in the middle of this fight. Coffee! That hit? Can't tell. Okay. That hit at least. What? Is that all I had to do was shoot you twice? Ah! I can't tell if these are hitting or not. Feel my pain. Ah, okay, hang on. Gotta drink more coffee. Coffee, coffee, where are you? What have I been picking up? Probably bullets. Okay, won't let me lock on more than one time? What what's happening? I'm confused. And then fire? Okay. I think I need to use real bullets on her? Can't use my mind bullets? Eh. Lock on! Oh my god. Come on, turn around, turn around, don't watch it, damn it! I want to turn around real quick. Because a cool guy never looks like explosions. What the hell is happening? Okay. Well, okay. It does give you the chance to run around after the fight and pick up all the items you may have missed. That's good. Unfortunately, it's still broken and won't tell me what I'm picking up. And did not miss anything. Okay.
door doesn't even open. So now it fixed itself and it's giving me all those things. Got it. Hey, you okay? Did you see any of that weird stuff? Our, our new world. My, please, my sweet little darling. Okay. Galena Clarkson, you are now under arrest on suspicion of the murder of Lise Clarkson and the illegal disposal of her corpse. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Yeah. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. That's enough, Zach. She can't hear us anymore. That doesn't matter. You still read off the rest of the rights. <sighs> Whatever. You have the right to Zach, a attorney. Pardon my language. If you cannot afford an attorney to stay, blah, blah, blah. This blah. case can go fuck itself. <laughs> wow. What was the tipping point for you, York? Just curious, where's your tipping point in all this? What's the point that made you go, this case sucks? Was it the murder? The ritualistic sacrifice? The weird magic bullshit? I owe you one, Mr. York. I'm awful sorry you had to get all caught up in our town's dirty laundry. What are you saying? What about dirty laundry now? I didn't expect you to catch the criminal this soon, though. You never fail to impress me. Come on, CLG. Let's head back to the office. Melvin, I just noticed. Is your shirt, like, really wrinkly? Mr. York and I both got a lot of cleanup work to take care of. All right. Are you saying making all these jokes about my, my smell? Now I just got to figure out what I'm going to tell the Clarksons. The truth? That's my biggest problem. Melvin, this investigation has only just begun. Say what now? But we got the killer. That's not that's not how that works. This case is much more complicated than it seems. You mean you're gonna keep searching the town? Yes. Of course. At the moment, I'm after a tall, stylish woman. Does that ring any bells? Besides her? Stylish. You lost me. What's they got to do with anything? Zach and I saw her with our own eyes. In a vision. We need to find her, I'm positive. Okay. You're probably talking about Professor R. Professor R? From the jazz bar? We've heard that like five times now. Yeah. We should probably check that out. I mean, she's the only person in town you could call stylish. I think Patricia just wants us to go to a bar, though. She's tall, too. But... What is it, Melvin? Uh... Well... Um... Well? Out with it. Don't let your ten-year-old daughter upstage you here, Sheriff. <laughs> You're looking for a stylish woman, right? Yes, we are you saying that. Then I think you're barking up the wrong tree with Professor R. Uh-huh. What do you mean by that? She isn't exactly a normal woman, if you catch my drift. And what do you mean by that, Melvin? I hear you loud and clear. Melvin, you're careless in every sense of the word. Thank you. I believe you operate on the side of good in most cases. With that in mind, I'm disappointed to see that you carry some prejudice with you. Yeah. Uh, but I... Uh... Hmm? But you what? Is she the type to forbid customers from entering her jazz bar due to the color of their skin? Ooh. No. She ain't like that. Okay. Well then, case closed. Melvin, I think we should call it a day. Before you shove your foot any further down your own throat. I'm going to head back to my hotel and get some sleep. You just slept for 14 hours, York. I also need to prepare a report to send back to the Bureau. Patty, thank you very much for assisting me in my investigation. I'll be counting on you again tomorrow. I just helped an FBI agent. Yeah. Oh, and Melvin, one more thing. Fuck you. You needn't worry about what to tell the Clarksons. 
I'm sure they already know that Galena's been arrested. After all, this is Lucare. Sh sure. Okay, so I'm going to stop there, and then when we come back, we'll do we'll continue the story. So thank you guys so much for stopping by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing that lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye-bye.